longtime NHL referee Paul Stewart will be inducted in the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame coming up at the ceremony in Nashville in December from 1987 to 2003 wore the stripes. First American-born official to referee 1,000 NHL games and still stands today as the only American who played and refereed in the NHL. Pretty cool. Paul Stewart joining us on his bay. Big day right now, Paul. Uh, congratulations on the honor. How quickly do you take that trip down memory, memory lane when you get that call? Well, two words that don't collide with me in a sentence often are speechless and humble. And I, I have to say that when uh, Pat called me from USA Hockey about the U.S. Hall of Fame, I, I was taken aback and, I'll be honest, quite emotional. Thinking of all of those people who have helped support me in my dreams and in my work. Paul, I remember coming up as a young kid, and you were the referee, and I was upset and uh, uttered some obscenities your way, give it a little bit, and you sent a tongue lashing back my way, and I went back to the bench with my tail between the legs. It was better than any penalty that you could have given me. Uh, you earned my respect immediately, but uh, your refereeing style was unique and one of a kind and something that I greatly respected. What do you think made yourself a successful referee? Well, it's interesting. Uh Bill Friday, who was a great referee in the National League and the WHA, once said to me, well, you broke all the rules. You should know which ones to enforce. <laughs> and George Armstrong, the chief, uh, the captain of Toronto, and I knew one another from our Quebec Nordiques days. And as well, he said to me that remembering the person you were as a player and also all of the things that you've learned, you, you apply them. And, and I think that the other thing that my dad taught me is you, you don't demand respect, you don't command respect, you earn respect. And with players, if you get across to them, as I tried to get across to you, hey, you go do your job, I'll do mine. And uh, we'll, we'll both enjoy being out here. We made a living, and uh, who's to complain? We're, we're still at it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Always. The battle continues. <laughs> At what point did you make the decision that you wanted to become an official, and what was that road like to get back to the NHL? Well, I went through quite a, a, a rock bottom when I finished playing, uh, having had a divorce and losing most, much of everything that I had worked and earned as, as, a, um, as a player. And, of course, your, your self uh, motivation, your pride, all of that goes out the window. And, and as we see with some players, you know, it, it takes its form in alcohol and drugs and, and others take tragic ends. But for me, I, I, I got some advice from a, a former high school coach of mine, Junie O'Brien, and he said to me, uh, you know, you should go to the place where you're happiest. And I knew that I was always happy when I was in a rink with people that were in hockey, were in, in the game, regardless of the position. And uh, this counselor said to me, you know, get back into the game in another form. I was too old to play or, or too beat up. And the officiating was something that my grandfather had done in the NHL and my father had done collegiately and my brother. And I just felt... A lot of the people that I admired uh, played and officiated, including the Cleary brothers and Jack Parker and a lot of the, the Billy Riley, a lot of them had refereed. So uh, it, to me, it was just another slice of the pizza pie of hockey. Paul, in 98, you got diagnosed with cancer in February. You came back on the ice to referee in November. How did that change your perspective on life and refereeing? Well, the fact is that it made me slightly impatient with people who got hung up on little stuff because I saw the big picture and I saw what it was all about. And the fact is that, that uh, I can't necessarily say it made me a better referee, but it made me uh, a person who had a clearer vision of what was important. And I think the fact is that I saw the support that I got from the NHL, from Gary and Bill Daly and, the official brother, officiating brothers in the team. And 
that fueled me. I came back and I was on chemo, and I'm going to tell you, it wasn't easy to get myself up to go out on that ice and do it, but that was part of the mental healing that I needed. If if they had taken that away from me, I might not be here. And and I needed that because it was such a a, a force and a PowerPoint in my life. Wow. Great stuff, Paul. Uh, we'll end it on that. Thank you so much. Congratulations on becoming a uh, Hall of Famer. Thank you very much. Hard to believe. And uh, now the duty of mine is to earn it and share, share my knowledge and make all the officials that work with me uh, better. I'm sure you will. Thanks, Paul.